On Antarctica, the 14 million square kilometers of deep and desolate ice covering the continent have irked generations of historians. 61% of all fresh water on Earth is frozen within this enormous ice sheet. Yet there has been no reason to believe life forms have ever resided there. That was then. In 2016, a team of American and European researchers claimed to have found proof of an ancient Antarctic civilization. They reported three precisely shaped four-sided pyramids protruding through the tundra. Online sleuths located the Google Earth imaging of these structures for analysis. Soon, a video by conspiracy theorist team Third Phase of Moon claimed these pyramids were the work of an ancient, long-forgotten civilization whose existence was finally being revealed to the world. Since 2009, NASA's Operation Icebridge mission has produced images of the polar ice caps to investigate what lies beneath, including those that now appear to prove buried human settlements. Recent scientific discoveries indicate Antarctica may once have been inhabited. In 2009, a climate science team discovered pollen particles on the continent. They concluded that tropical plants including palm and baobab trees once grew there, with temperatures reaching highs of 21 degrees Celsius. Then in 2012, researchers from Nevada's Desert Research Institute collected samples of 32 bacterial strains from East Antarctica's Lake Vida. This is consistent with theories that the continent was once home to numerous biological life forms. This opens the possibility that human settlements once existed there too. Journalist Christopher Condon believes that Antarctica could be the ancient city of Atlantis. First discussed in the writings of Greek philosopher Plato, Atlantis was described as a cultural center throughout antiquity, until its obliteration through natural disaster in 10,000 BC. It has never been located. Furthermore, Native American mythology states their original ancestors, the Azatlan, hailed from an unidentified white island that was obliterated by a scourge of natural disasters. The pyramid could be part of this legendary historical complex. These claims are also supported by the findings of historian Professor Charles Hapgood. Hapgood theorized that the continent was home to an ancient civilization which escaped or perished as natural disasters overtook them. He explained the absence of material evidence for such a civilization with his theory of crustal displacement. This posits that every 20 to 30,000 years, the Earth's entire crust shifts. Allegedly, the most recent shift took place 12,000 years ago and moved Antarctica. The strength and intensity of this relocation resulted in existing settlements becoming buried under thick layers of ice. Geological evidence for his theory comes from the natural shifting of the Earth's magnetic poles, which have not always been in their present-day locations. And this purportedly explains the difference in ice sheet thickness between Lesser and Greater Antarctica. According to Hapgood's calculations, Lesser Antarctica had 40,000 more years to develop an icy crust. Importantly, Hapgood was well respected amongst his peers. One of his earliest supporters was Albert Einstein, who petitioned US President Eisenhower to fund research into this theory. Eisenhower left office before he was able to fulfill this request, and, thank you very much. and the research remains incomplete. In 2012, reports that satellite imaging had located a 22-kilometer structure beneath the Arctic ice caps also fueled these suspicions. Photographic evidence was initially available on Google Earth. While NASA and the US military have refuted these claims, theorists believe these government agencies are covering up the cold truth. However, others contest whether or not these discoveries are even new. Science journalist Alfredo Carbonetti has traced historical sources that mention the same structure and refer to it as a mountain. It was allegedly first recorded on a 1910-1913 British Antarctic expedition. The explorers ironically referred to it on consequent geological surveys as the pyramid due to the shape of its summit. 
Meanwhile, Hapgood's crustal displacement is a long discredited scientific theory. Had it actually occurred, it would have wiped out all animals on Earth as huge landmasses moved across at an implausible 1,000 miles an hour. Hapgood's academic background was in historical research, not in science. Pyramid formations are hardly unusual either. In fact, they occur naturally in mountain ranges. The Antarctic Pyramid could very well be a Nunatuk, a mountain peak that protrudes above natural glaciers. There are several noted examples in Antarctica already. Scientists believe these occur when huge glaciers shift over thousands of years and cover all of a rock formation apart from a single exposed peak. Human pyramids were inspired by such mountain peaks. For example, the ornate Aztec pyramids were made to imitate soaring mountains because they believed it would protect them from the elements. The world's largest pyramid, known by the Aztecs as Serpent Mountain, represents the legendary mountain birthplace of their peoples. Crucially, groundbreaking contemporary research by Professor Peter Barrett shows that the continent has been covered in deep ice for at least 15 million years. This is 9 million years before the first human ancestors came to Earth. Therefore, there is simply no way that the pyramid could have been made by modern humans. The shapes of these Antarctic structures do bear extraordinary similarity to man-made landmarks. But there is no concrete evidence to suggest they are anything other than natural rock formations. Simply put, more evidence is needed to prove this is the work of an ancient civilization.